stop changing your engine oil at the wrong time. You're waiting too many miles. Well, we have an engine oil analyzer here to prove it. All we have to do is insert this down into the dipstick tube and this optical sensor will be able to tell us the percentage of the oil in how much qualities left in the motor oil. All right, now all we have to do is turn it on. Now, we're supposed to hold the trigger down. Change bad. Okay, this is very important for you guys to see just how many miles is on this motor oil. Okay, so take a look. I change my trip meter or reset it every time I change the motor oil. And as you can see, I just now broke 1,000 miles on this oil. So how is it possible that this motor oil is bad? Here we have different oils to test. So you can see new, 3,000 miles, 5,000 miles, and 7,500 miles. Here we have the optical sensor used to measure the oil. It's time for us to jump in and test these motor oils. We'll start with the new oil. So we'll place the sensor in the oil. All right, now we can go ahead and begin the test. There was a company that reached out to me that said they did a lot of testing to come up with this device. However, I'm not even sure if it was the manufacturer. Now, I'm beginning to wonder. We use the brush that came with it to clean it off. Now let's go ahead and try the 3,000 mile oil. Okay, now let's see how well this 3,000 mile oil did. Says it was okay at 51.1%, but new oil isn't good. I'm beginning to wonder about this. We need to go a step further and try the 5,000 and 7,500 mile oil. I'm sure I'm not gonna show you guys this each time, but just letting you know, I'm cleaning it just like they say. Hit the reset button, just like they tell me to do, because you're supposed to hit the W, and before you begin the test, you're supposed to hit the S. Let's go ahead, begin our testing. Go in on the 5,000 mile oil. Turn it on. You can look at the bottom of the oil. It'll light up the optical. Now, just hold it in. What? 47.8%. Okay. Okay. Well, let's move on then. Finally, we test the 7,500 mile oil. Let's go ahead and take a look at our percentage. I wanna show you guys, I hate to zoom out and zoom in because some people might think that I'm doing something with the results. That's why I don't really care for that. As you can see, it says 50% 50, 50 the oil is okay at 7,500 miles. I'm not sure what's happened here. As you can see, that's not the most accurate way to measure the motor oil because there's a significant difference. 
using this optical sensor, passing light through the oil and seeing how much light actually made it through. Going by the darkness or the color of the oil is not a good way to tell the quality. I've seen people do this in the past. And as I said, it's a terrible way. Why? Because the additive package actually is doing its job. And many times, this is what you're seeing. After maybe a thousand miles, the oil could be pretty darn dark. So it's not gonna be an accurate way to judge anything. Well, you saw the car, a thousand miles on the motor oil, and it's already saying that the oil's bad, not accurate. Guys, if there's any information that you can give that'll help, I'd appreciate it. And, well, I'll go ahead and list where you can find one of these, and you can try it out for yourself. You make the decision. Don't go by what I have to say, and the company that reached out to me is not the company that I'm going to show you guys uh, where you can find it. I don't try to throw any company under the bus, anything like that. Like I said, I'm not even sure if it was the manufacturer. Maybe it wasn't. You know, there's a lot of people out there just trying to sell something and scam people. So I'm not going to include any of their information or names in the video. As always, guys, thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.